All right, guys, boy, it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to get at the forge. Um, Central New York, winter, working outside, that's the way it is. Um, but I have a uh, special request project from um, a member of eBay. They want a bottle opener shaped like a fish, in particular a trout. Um, that's the project for today. Should be pretty cool, something different. What he wants is the uh, the head of the trout to be on top of the bottle and the fin, the, the tail to wrap underneath, to hook underneath the, um, the lid. So. That's what we're going to go ahead and start doing. I'm going to use uh, some half inch rebar, I think is my base stock. It's a little bit of carbon typically in, in the rebar, so that should give a little bit of spring, a little bit of, of strength. So here we go a fish, trout rather, bottle open. Stay tuned. All right, so we need to draw this thing to scale. You can see it. One of the odd days where we're having some sun today, it's actually 60 degrees. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the tail first because ultimately I think that's the widest part that I need to uh, work. So I want to be able to upset that to get to get some width out of it before I do anything. And then I'll go ahead and probably just flatten this thing out. I'll keep it on here. I'll do the head last. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go ahead and do the fins. Um, I'm not sure if I can pull those out or not, but I'm going to try. But I'm going to upset then start getting this body shape done. Looking pretty good. Don't look better at all. Got a nice whip there. Widen that out, the cross pin. Go for the shape there. Again, it's supposed to be a keychain, so I got to figure out my length. Uh, I'm thinking maybe two and a half inches. In overall length, but that's got a tail that curls around, so maybe about five inches when we get done. Plus, it can't be too darn heavy, it's going to be a keychain, so we'll go a little bit thinner on this. We'll go ahead and just stretch this out for length a little. down a little bit towards the body. Kind of see a fish shape happening there a little bit. I do. I think that bite just a little more length there. So I'm going to take a little bit more for the nose. Start cleaning this up so we get a halfway decent finish on this. But I'm going to go just a little farther down the pipe here. There we go. I like that better. Um, back fin, belly, down to the nose. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put that uh, little V in the back. Alright, to put that fin in, I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, Cross pin on the large hammer, hitting it with the uh, brass hammer that should be relatively safe. Let's hope. And we'll just work that down in there. Don't look too bad. Let's take the small hammer and just kind of clean it up a little. It actually doesn't need a huge amount of indentation to make the effect that I'm after. But we're going to go a little farther than that. In one more time. Right, that's 
good. I like that. It will separate as we draw that out. So I'm going to go just a little deeper in the center here. We'll go back to the animal and we'll see how that looks. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like a thin to me. Alright, go ahead and start bringing that out now. Put ourselves a little bit of a round in there. I think that looks good. at all. I like it. Still working out the design. A little more detail here on the fin. The rear fin, tail fin. top here. I like this. Uh, I think what I'm going to try to do is cut out a couple of fins for the bottom and cut out the dorsal fin, which means i got to shape things around that. It's the first time I've tried this and it's going to be a lot more work <clears throat> than if I just went with a plain old fish looking thing. Um, but I don't mind the challenge. We're going to work it up. Right, let's go ahead and cut this dorsal where I want it. I'm not going to come down too far. That'll be good there. I think that's good. I'm going to need a couple of fins down below here. We'll go right about there. Again, at this point, I'm just doing it to put a little bit of detail. And then we need a larger one back farther. Let's see if we can grab this angle here. Alright. I think you can see what I'm trying to do. It still leaves us the front fin and uh, a minor back one here, but I gotta work this out. So at this point, that's what I have. I think you can see it taking shape if we can just pull those out a little bit. I took that over to the uh, vise and I just ran the chisel in perpendicular to it just to pull those out. We'll see what we can do about getting some size to this. Hopefully I can. At this point, I really have to be careful about not melting those off. Straighten down here. See if we can get a bit of a flare out of these. Work both sides like that. See if we can get that to come out a little. into it is a minute more you don't want to lose by messing something up. And then you got all that much farther to go back and fix. But I'm trying to pull, I don't know if you can see it, this indentation, I'm trying to pull that out a little bit so that we can get a bit more of a fish fin shape. A little at a time. up there. It's more like a goldfish fin right now. Not exactly happy with it because the trout fin is going to be more of a triangular shape. Um, we might have to nip this off to turn it into what I want, but at least it's fin-like. With a little help from the angle grinder, I just kind of fine-tune those shapes a little bit. Now, I think I'm okay with it. It isn't. You know, you always try to do better than you, than you want, but 
I think I see it. I mean, it's it's trout like enough. I might I might round some of these over. I didn't do it for a finish here. I think I'm going to go ahead and start making this head and uh, drawing out that back fin just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just gonna texturize and draw out these this back fin a little bit. And again, we only need texture on one side because it's going to be folded over. So makes it a little easier, but if we can throw some fin-like striations in here, I think that'll help. Same thing with these. I might do some of that with a chisel. But you see what I'm doing there? Can you see the striations? Hopefully you can. So just to put a little texture in, it looks good. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now. Um, I'll fine tune it when I'm all done. I'm going to try to heat just up here, get about, because I want this tail to bend right about here. So I need the nose, I need the, the nose a little bit more up there. Alright, uh, stretch that out a little. Got a little bit more on here. Um, now I'm going to nip this off in a V and then shape that, shape that nose up. I think I like it. I think it's coming out alright. Alright, after looking over here, so this off a little bit straight here because I can bring that down to the point that I want. I was going to cut a V-shaped nose there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off straight. Alright, there it is after getting cut off. And I'll just work this nose down to, uh, it's a rounded point, not a pointy nose, more of a rounded off nose, so we'll work on that. Open this up a little bit. Square it up a little bit. Got to be a little protective of our fins. I don't mind a little thicker head on this because we got some detail we need to put in there. That's not bad at all. So, there she is, one of our patterns right there, heck it's almost the size of this thing, that's pretty cool, I didn't try for that, but uh, I see a little bit more of a point here, we're going to bring that down to more of a point, I'm going to split the jaw open like this one up here, and uh, I think we're going to be pretty close to done there. Messing up anything now, that's for sure. We're too close to being done. I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, now, this is the back side. That's the front side. We're going to split that jaw, but I want to put one more fin up here. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like I did before. I'm going to pull it off like that but I might try tucking it in over for a little 3D effect. So I'm going to take that fin, well, let me cut that jaw first, that's going to take the biggest heat. Cut the jaw and then we'll work on it. Alrighty, see what I'm doing. Try to get this jaw the way I want it. Which I hope just happens. I don't think that's bad at all. I'm going to heat that up we're going to clean that up on the vise. Uh, you know, it's kind of goofy, but I think it's, I think it's what I want. Yep. So what I did over on the vise is, is just set that, that cut in to depth. Boy, it sure doesn't look good, but uh, I think it's exactly where we want to go. At this point, I'm not going to put that, I'm not going to set that jaw where I want. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close it back up because I need to get one more heat on this. I don't want that bottom jaw melting off. I want to get one fin up here. This is the front. Yeah. I want to get one fin up here. And then we'll put the final touches on. Go ahead. 
This is going to be a little delicate, but I think I'll be all right. I'm not going to take much. I want it right about there. That'll work. Get it cut off. That works. I like it. Alright, over on the vise, we just ran the chisel down the other way and that fin curved right around just like I would hoped it I hoped it would. Unfortunately it curved the wrong way. I want it this way, but I think it's gonna do what I want. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit and just kind of fold it up like that first fin. I, I think that'll work. Just kind of widen it out if you can without breaking anything. Liking that. A little bit at a time is what we're after. I think I'll work the entire thing off on this side because I want it on the other side when I get done. Hopefully I don't just break it off in the process, but I think that'll work. I like it, I like it, I like it. Actually, it doesn't look too bad just the way it is right there. Hmm, we'll have to see how that all works out. Let me get that jaw open up. Let's open that jaw back up a little bit. Now, the odd thing is that I want a little hook on the bottom of that jaw. So, I need to put something in there and pull that hook up. So we're going to figure that out right now and then we're going to call this good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put this thing in here. Got a short kind of chisel I'm going to put down in here. And I'm going to hook that, there we go, perfect. And I'm at it, I'll shape that nose up. Yep, exactly what I was going for. You see a little hook on the jaw? I like that. Hey, no artist. Right, I just took it in on the wire brush because I need to, to uh, start thinking about the final touches. So this fin's going to wrap around underneath, hook underneath the bottle. Um, so I need to decide what I want. I want actually I want this side when it's underneath. I really don't care about that. I care about this side. So I got the right texture on that. We'll fold this thing over. Um, if you notice when I did the mouth, you see how it comes to a too rounded of a of a point here. I, I need to put a little more detail in that, but I think I can do that with a chisel. And uh, I want to put some some fin-like striations in the tail fins and all of these other fins. This fin I want to roll up over the top. So I got a lot that I want to do. I got to put the striations in first. So I think I'm going to start heating these fins up, putting some of those striations in. I'll come back when I'm done. This last one on the opposite side it should get rolled over. My luck is going to just break off. I'm going to put some texture in it because it's going to be hard to do once it's on the other side, I think. We're going to find out there in a minute. That's all you're going to get. So let's roll that. Actually, let me put the eyes and the face detail in first. Alright, now for the big stuff. I think that eye, I want to do a large punch and then a smaller punch. Get it in the right spot, I'd say right about here. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll put the smaller punch in it on the right side, yes. I like that, that looks good. 
All right, now what we need to do is we gotta put some jaw lines in and then a gill curve. So I don't really have a curve punch to do. I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit. Let me put those jaw lines in. Jaw line. We want one that kind of comes up like this. I hope. And one that comes up like this. I hope. I don't think that's too bad. Downward movement there. Not bad. I'm gonna put a secondary one in here just to make it look like. Yeah, that's good. You can put a detail line on the bottom. No, I think that's not bad. Not bad at all. Ain't gonna win any rewards with it. At this point, it's starting to look like a fish. All we got is the gill. I gotta work that out. Alright, so the solution to my gill curve is to make my own little chisel. So I got my new gill chisel that I've added to my set of tools, and that's what's cool about blacksmithing, because if you ain't got what you need, you can make most of it. So that'll give me a nice little curve there, and we'll give this sucker a go. Alright. Come from the bottom of the jaw like that. I like it. Do a secondary one. Do one more just for oh yeah. Sweet. Huh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Well, we're getting close. All right, whether it's a rainbow or a rookie or whatever, there's a couple, there's a nice series of dots. We're gonna go ahead and put those in. Randomly, down the length of the fish. Even on the tail. Just Give it some authentic kind of look. I think that's not bad. I'm gonna heat that up and we're gonna put, I'm gonna try to find a little smaller punch. We'll put some, a couple of smaller dots in. Ah, you see that? And we'll just randomize it with some smaller dots. Not all dots are made the same. Got a couple of dots in the fins. I think these will show up a lot more once it's finished. Hopefully not too much more. I kind of like that one. So a few down on the belly. Not as many. Alrighty, what does that leave us? Let's say we're just about as done as we're going to be except for rolling that fin and then folding the thing over. So yeah, I'm half tempted to leave this fin roll until later, but we're going to do it now, I guess. Kind of committed to it. I like that, huh? So that's 3D effect on that fin. I don't know if you can see it or not. I like it. Looks good. I don't think it broke anything. It looks like it's laid over on the top, so that's cool. Alright, big bend in. Actually, I'm going to just clean up the right, Here she is after being cleaned up. I kind of like it. I'm a little more surprised than I would. I was I, some more surprised than I thought I was going to be about how well it turned out. I think I can see trout in there. It's kind of hard because I need the extra length in the fin to uh, to wrap. So I'm hoping I can bend about here. The, the next challenge that I have is it, it's supposed to be a keychain. So it's got to bend, have enough, it be a keychain, and be able to open a bottle. So, and I don't have very many bends in this thing. I'm afraid with the fins and everything. So I hope that I can bend it, loop it back up, and then flop it back down in order to uh, open a bottle. That's what we're going to do now. Go big or go home. But honestly, I'm not exactly sure how I want to bend this, but I want it to bend right about there. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, 
I said, I don't think I have too many bends in it. So I gotta make sure that, wait a minute, that that tail can bend around and still be in the right spot to open the bottle. I think I'm in the right spot there. All right, hope you guys appreciate this view because this is a pain in the neck to try to do everything at once here. Come on, get over there. Just trying to bend it without causing too much distortion. I think I'm going to be okay on length here. But I got to get that... Uh, I don't know. See, my concern now is that those fins and everything's looking good in length and everything I'm afraid that with the fins I'm not gonna be able to get a ring through there at all so I gotta work this out I might actually just drill a hole straight through and hang a ring on it that way I think that's going to be the plan Stan all right, I think I decided to go with the cross ring on it so I'm gonna open this up I don't want it to be quite as big a loop as I originally had going here because I want it, I gotta pull this thing in kind of like that to be my bottle opener. Let's see if I can get on this thing so you can see what I'm talking about. You see what I mean there? I needed to have that lip back far enough where I can hook onto a bottle. So hopefully I have it where I need it. I'll go ahead and fine tune it. I don't know. Looks like a trout bottle opener to me. Alright, there she is all shaped up. I wanted to, to kind of give it a little wavy bit on the tail, give it more of a lifelike organic look. I rolled the tail up, I don't know if you can see that, to hook underneath that bottle. Uh, I think it's going to work. I think we're in pretty good shape at this point. Uh, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to have to sandblast the inside because it's all uh, corroded up now and we'll get it brushed and polished. Uh, I gotta drill a hole in here for the key ring. That's the only uh, solution that I have unless I make something that comes out here. And let me think about that. Otherwise, I'm gonna clean it up and I'll be back. All right, guys, we got it done. Turned out pretty good, actually. Take a look at it. I put some tempering colors in there to give it some bit of color. I don't know if you'd call it a rainbow or a rookie, but it kind of looks like a trout. It looks like a mean trout. But it turned out nice. It's a nice detail all the way around. Got it on a keychain. I ended up drilling a hole through the end in order to do that, which I think is just fine. Works. And there we have it. One fish keychain. Another one down. Unfortunately, it's like noon and it's getting dark. Welcome to New York. Alright, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.